let's discuss about the rxjs so basically rxjs is a library for handling synchronous or asynchronous event okay the full form of rxjs is the reactive extension of javascript and one of the most important part of the rxjs is the observable observable is very important so it can handle uh, the event okay number of sequence of event or sequence of data so it can emit a data over period of time like a stream you can say continuously it can uh, emit a data you can complete the emission you can do a lots of thing so let's try to understand what is the observable and how you can create so observable observable is a lazy it means uh, suppose you created a observable then without subscribing you will not get a notification of the event okay so it means that there is a publisher publisher it means uh, the observable will be produced from the publisher and if you want to get the notification of the event you have to subscribe it so how you can subscribe just use the subscribe method and you will get uh, the data whatever data will get emitted from the observable so for creating a observable first and foremost you need to import the observable from rxjs okay so i already uh, imported you can notice here the observable however some other operator is also uh, imported but focus on this observable part so it means you can create a observable with the new method new keyword so new and then you need to write here the observable and then in that there will be a callback and callback is nothing uh, callback can have a uh, one a parameter which is the let's say subscriber okay because you are producing the data for the for your subscriber so you can do a subscriber now just i am going to write here the arrow method now with this subscriber in a short form i can write here the sub something like that sub so for emitting a data we will use the next method see into the rxjs most important part is the three uh, three method the method is the next complete or error you have to remember this is a very basic thing so if you will use the next then you can produce a next data so suppose i will i want to emit a data one so whenever you will uh, use the function next then you can emit a data and once you will use the complete it means no further emission will be happen In observable will get complete so you can use the complete method and apart from that uh, there is another important method which is the error so if you want to produce a error you can use the error method so just you need to write here the sub dot error and then whatever error you want to pass you can pass it uh, here something like that so you can create observable using the new keyword and on that uh, you will use the three method one uh, method is the next next is basically to produce a next data and error is to if you want to produce an error then you will use the error and then the complete if you want to complete the observable then after completion there will there will be no any emission will be happen no any data will get produced okay emission it means uh, it means that a uh, uh, a data means it will produce a data so for this term i am i am saying that emission data emission so you can create observable in this way and uh, basically in here uh, right now for the demonstration i just use the next complete or error method but in real scenario if you want to create a observable then you can put your logic here and based on the log logic you can produce a next data and based on your logic you can produce a error or uh, if you will notice that no any further uh, uh, data will be emitted then you can make it complete okay so you can manually create the uh, you can create observable in this way using the new keyword so let's store it in any of this variable so let's say const ob1 something like that 
now observable is created data emission is happening but without subscribing you will not get a data you have to subscribe it so for subscribing you just need to use a subscribe method just use you use the subscribe method and then within the subscribe you can pass the call back okay so this call back is for the next it means that whenever any data will get produced using the next method then you will able to handle you will able to get it here in the first uh, call back the first call back see subscribe uh, this is a subscribe method and in that subscribe uh, you will uh, get a data and the first argument is a call back and first argument uh, first call back is for the whatever next data is producing so that's why i am writing here the next so let's do a console log and let's see what will be the output but here there uh, there is some mistake so i am just removing that one now it's fine so just i am uh, going to use the console log console log and uh, let's see what the data i am getting from the next see this next from this next you will get a data uh, just i am going to remove the error for now i will check it later on so now here you can notice if i will save this one then i have to do a console log with the next then you will get a next data you can notice that next data is uh, you are getting so whenever any data uh, will be emitted from the observable you will get it using the subscribe so you have to subscribe it then only you will get a notification of the data and uh, based on that you can console log or you can uh, do other operation based on that so this is actually the first call back is for the next method it means any data will get produced you will get it from this call back for the first uh, call back and second call back you can write for the error so let's see for the error so here i have to write a call back something like that and instead of uh, writing this one i can write here the err and also for the next uh, no need to write these things this is a shortcut actually so error so if you i will do the console log here then i will receive here the error if any error will get produced console log and then write it here err so when error will get produced from the observable you will get the error you can notice error you are getting you are not getting error from this first call back from the next uh, uh, like method the first call back is for the for the next uh, uh, like for the data which will be produced with using the next method and if you want to receive a error then there will be a second call back and there will be a third call back third call back is for the complete so let's uh, uh, write the call back for the for the complete method so when the observable will get completed you will get a notification that hey this observable is completed now no any data will get emitted means the data emission will be not be happen because observable get, uh, completed so i can do here the console log and then i am going to uh, write here the done it means it means observable completed but here you can notice that the console log done is not printed over here why the reason is that the error since error is com uh, got so observable not get a chance to uh, complete so if i will remove this error then you will notice that this is uh, here it is written done uh, the, it means observable go get completed and after the completion of the observable if you try to emit a data it will not be emitted so let's see you can notice here i am going to produce the data 3 but you are you can notice the 3 is not printed here because 
the observable already get completed okay so it means the line by line execution happened here but if you want to use uh, if you want to produce a data uh, like a asynchronous means asynchronous event you want to produce then you can also do that one so here suppose i if i will use a set timeout then in that case i will able to achieve the asynchronous event okay so let's write here the set time out and uh, the first argument in the set time out will be the callback so let's write a callback here and the second argument is a time after expiry of that time this callback will get executed so let's write here maybe a 2 second and here i am going to uh, write here uh, i am going to produce the next data so sub dot next and i will write here let's say a uh, four something but uh, before execution of the four the sub dot complete will get executed and because of that the next data will not get produced so right now i am going to uh, move this one into the in the, into the set timeout so now you can notice here that one two three four uh, let's clear and once again i am going to uh, so you you can notice that 1 2 3 3 get produced 1, 2, and 3. and uh, because execution is uh, didn't blocked next execution happen so it it means that uh, before executing the 4 3 get executed it means 3 executed it means what the next data is produced 3 you can notice and after expiry of 2 second the next data produced four and after that observable done it means observable completed because i used here the complete method this is the one way actually this is the one way the second one uh, second way and a very important term in the rxjs is the observer so what is the observer let's try to understand so in the observer so let's write here the observer that observer is nothing but a uh, one kinds of object it's a consumer object it will able to handle the next complete and error okay so uh, in that object there will be a property which is for the next data so i can write here the next and then colon because uh, this will be in the key value pair and then uh, if any next data will get produced you can achieve using the callback so now i have to do a callback here so something like that i have to do callback and uh, let's say here the next if i will use then i can remove that one and i can do a console log or we can directly do a console log something like that console dot log and uh, within that i will write here the next okay so you can receive a next data it can be a callback okay so no need to worry about it just you need uh, it will be value will be in the key value pair key will be the next and the value will be uh, the callback so that you can do certain operation there and the second property will be uh, error and again for the error uh, there will be a callback so let's write err and then uh, you can do a console log something like that and here i need to write err so now third argument will be for the complete okay for the complete and again there will be a callback so uh, there is a two way to do that in the subscribe uh, you can pass the observable as well observer this one this object so in two way you can handle the observable so let's see the output so just i am going to comment the previous one and i will write here the ob1 quickly and then i will write here the subscribe uh, just subscribe and within that i will uh, pass this observable this object and you can notice there is a same output it means that there are two way to handle the observable i hope you understand If you face any problem then please comment